Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. In today's video, we're talking about how INFJs achieve their goals. The unique way INFJs achieve anything they want in life. And first, before we get into that, let's talk about what it is that INFJs want. And let's talk about what gets in the way of them getting what they want. Okay. The thing that INFJs tend to want can often be found in their extroverted feeling. INFJs tend to be as feeling and extroverted types, people that crave to help the world. And INFJs often absorb, like empaths, the emotions of other people, becoming sponges that feel other people's struggles and problems as if they were their own. And INFJs here often feel a need to be able to help other people through these problems. And so the INFJs' careers and goals in life are often mapped by the people they interact with and deal with in life. So here as an INFJ, if your parents went through a difficult problem, if you notice the problem within people in general, you'll often try to think about why that happened and you're gonna want to think of a way that you can help and assist in this, right? So you learn your purpose often by studying what it is that other people have done to you or how other people have impacted you emotionally and by thinking of a way to help them better manage that, right? What is it that gets in the way of INFJs achieving what they want? Well, it's introverted thinking, obsessive perfectionism and problem solving. But before we get into this video, let's talk about first, thank you so much. You guys have been blowing up my channel lately. I hit 10,000 views last month, or actually 12,000 views. And it's truly great to see so many people are coming in and finding my channel and learning from my videos on INFJs. We're really close now to hit the 1,000 subscriber goals. So keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, and keep helping me. And if you have any ideas for videos, or if you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash ericthor. That's it for now, and let's get on with the video. INFJs tend to rely on introverted thinking as the way to help other people. And so introverted thinking to many INFJs is the tool by which you engage with and help other people manage their problems. And that's why as therapists or counselors or support figures, INFJs tend to be quite logical in how they understand and assess and break down other people's problems. INFJs act as very critical therapists, thinking of strategies, solutions that other people can use to be more successful. But it's not necessarily this that is in the way of INFJs achieving their goals. Instead, it's this to the extreme. INFJs often have very perfectionistic standards on themselves. Here, INFJs want to be the most talented person in the world. They want to have the most skills of any person. They want to be the most educated on a topic. They want to know the most on something before they can allow themselves to really express themselves and to really engage in this quest. So, many INFJs will tell themselves that I will get a relationship when I feel that I am the most perfect partner possible, when I feel like I've fully completed my work on myself and that I'm fully ready to do and engage in such a pairing, right? Or INFJs will say that, well, I have a dream that I think could be really great for others and have a way I want to help other people. But before I can do that, I need to be extremely talented and I have to focus on gaining skills so that I can help other people, right? So this can keep INFJ stuck in a loop where it's never enough, right? So often here you'll find that you keep shifting the goalpost. No matter how much you study, no matter how much you read, no matter how much you work on yourself, you'll keep thinking of reasons why you don't know enough yet and you need to keep working, studying before you can allow yourself to really pursue your dream. Here, a lot of the time INFJs miss the fact that they can grow a lot by connecting with other people and that other people are not just a means by which you can achieve your goals but also a way to help you achieve your goals. Other people's wisdom, insight and intelligence can come in handy for you when you're trying to make the world a better place. Other people are not just the source of trouble and stress or discomforts and pain and emotional problems and turmoil but also the source of wisdom and insight and inspiration. So you can just as much engage with and interact with other people to gain knowledge, to gain insight and to gain experience. Here you can learn while you go. You can keep studying, you can keep figuring things out, but you can also keep putting yourself out and recognize that action and extroverted sensing and doing will help you on the way there. But this is not how INFJs achieve their goals. 
the key strategy by which INFJs achieve their goals is through introverted intuition, visualization. Here, what you want to do is you want to simulate and envision for yourself what it is that you want to achieve. And you want to think about how it would feel to do that. You want to think about what it would look like. You would want to imagine and design how your ideal life would look, what you would be doing, how it would happen, and all those things. You want to really take the time to daydream and to think and dream big here. You want to really engage in your intuition. And you want to try to think out of the box. Find an original path, or an original strategy, something only you can do, something that is truly your own, and use this approach to achieve your goals. Introverted intuition is a source of magic, and this is important to remember. It's magic. It's not something you can rationally dissect with introverted thinking. It's something that you can experience and visualize and see inside yourself. And it's important to recognize that you won't find the exact way or strategy forward. It's important to know that you can only use this as a benchmark, and you'll find that this benchmark is more than enough. Actually, intuition is more than enough to guide you towards success. If you can just hold this image in your head and focus on this intention, on this goal, and focus on moving in this direction, you'll find that you will get where you need to be. You don't need to know exactly how you're going to end up there. You don't need to know every exact detail of this. You just need to trust in your intuition and in the power of this vision. Swimmers, athletes, and people all around the world use simulation and visualization as a means to do better in anything that they do. You can use this in any form of situation in life, and you'll find that it will help you. You can envision and plot out a phone call or a job interview or a business presentation. You can use this to really understand and see the path forward in any situation. But what's most important with visualization is that you connect it to an action. Here, every single time you get a vision, you want to use your intuition as well to think of a concrete action, something you can do right now that will help you get towards that dream destination. Here, yeah, you will need a dose of extroverted sensing. Extroverted sensing or action is the inferior function of an INFJ and the stressor. It adds stress to an INFJ's life to think of them as having to do things. And therefore, INFJs best keep their to-do list small and effective and concrete. It's not to say that you can't achieve a lot or do a lot as an INFJ. It's to say that you need to conserve your energy for the things that really matter, the people that matter, the things that are most important. And you need to give yourself space to think and to be empty. And you need to allow this time of emptiness to become a point for you to daydream bigger, to visualize, to connect with your intuition and what it is that you want in life. If you never leave alone time for yourself, you're going to find that you sap yourself of strength and energy. And INFJs need introverted intuition to achieve flow without the ability to have space and time for yourself in quiet contemplation and reflection you'll find that it becomes very difficult for you to achieve your goals. But an INFJ who has learned to recognize and to connect with these ideas and to keep moving towards this is truly unstoppable. INFJs that know their introverted intuition and have mastered their introverted intuition can truly achieve anything they want. So what is it you want? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.